Indonesia's digital media market is one of the fastest growing in Southeast Asia. And in part two of our series on advertising around the world, Divianti Farids explores how a local snack company is cashing in on the digital trend. The city of Bandung, West Java, is known for its hilly landscape and food. It's also the place where a small cracker company made its name in the business, using social media to sell its products. Three years ago, the snack company began using social media to attract its customers using a unique marketing concept at that time. Customers who wanted to buy the snack had to access the company's Twitter account to find the location of the nearest Maichi mobile distributor. At first, Maichi crackers were delivered on demand, but later were sold from the back of cars like this around town. Customers found the advertising method interesting, and this caused a buzz. Some enjoyed the thrill of trying to find the Maichi mobile distributor via hints on Twitter, and others simply found it convenient. Besides the unique marketing concept, customers say the spiciness of the crackers are what keeps them coming back for more. There are three levels of spiciness, from spicy level 3, very spicy level 5, to a tongue-burning level 10. With a startup capital of only $5, the cracker company now earns as much as 600,000 U.S. dollars a month. 26-year-old founder Reza Nur Hilman says startup companies can't simply use social media to sell their products, but must also apply direct selling methods. Tetap yang perlu kita lakukan langkah awalnya adalah kita uh, membuat pemasaran secara offline. Ya, karena kalau kita langsung masuk ke sosial media, mungkin beberapa kalangan atau masyarakat masih nggak ngeh apa ini yang e, produk yang dipasarkan karena memang kita nggak bisa langsung masuk sosial media tetap kita harus pendekatan secara emosional itu e, offline dulu ya baru kita masuk ke sosial media setelah kita memiliki konsumen-konsumen yang loyal dan mereka memberikan testi yang uh, apa adanya itu di social media. Reza says social media allowed him to promote directly, unlike more conventional marketing methods. Media reports show that Indonesians are one of the top users of Facebook and Twitter in the world. So there's plenty of potential for such marketing techniques. The ability to, 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 to reach out for brands on, 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 on social media is, is uh, now the opportunity is bigger than ever. Not just because of the sheer number, but uh, you know, from the be behavioral standpoint, um, Indonesians, they love to connect. We love to share, we love to chat. Uh, more importantly, we love to chat, and you know, whether it's chatting offline or online. Reza says he'll continue to advertise on social media, but hasn't forgotten the old-fashioned way of selling products through retail stores and supermarkets nationwide. Devianti Farid's Channel News Asia, Bandung, West Java.